soaring oil prices, global warming due to greenhouse gases, increase in waste following economic growth. The project of utilizing waste as fuel which uses waste as the source of energy resolves the chronic problems of waste treatment, leads to affordable production costs, replaces fossil fuel in this era of high oil prices and reduces greenhouse gases so it is receiving limelight as future energy. The project of utilizing MSW as fuel moves away from the existing landfills or incineration, mechanically classifies the waste for treatment before being turned into fuel. It is a groundbreaking project that transforms waste into renewable energy. Moreover, it is a core project of green growth that is able to generate additional revenue by securing CERs. The project of turning Busan Metropolitan City's MSW into fuel and the execution of the private investment business was implemented in DTO method together with the main office of Busan City, Busan ENA, the principal, consortium of construction companies, POSCO ENC, and three others, Korea Environment Corporation, the institute that managed and supervised the project. The construction took place on a land of 23,932.36 square meters out of the lot area of 66,653.7 square meters in the entire Sengokdong in Gansoku, Busan Metropolitan City. The project of turning MSW into fuel involves delivering MSW, classifying them, producing RDF, incinerating and producing electricity. It is an innovative next-generation growth engine, and the annual treatment quantity of waste has reached 234,900 tons, generating 196 gigawatts of electricity annually. The facilities of turning MSW into fuel and the private investment project for generation facilities are largely categorized into fuel facilities and generation facilities. The facilities are comprised of turning MSW into fuel facility block, RDF storage block, boiler facility block, steam turbine facility block, condenser facility block, combustion gas treatment facility block, and management block. The MSW fuel facility block has been designed and constructed as an environmentally friendly facility with logical flow of production process and maximized efficiency. 900 tons of waste material is collected per day from each of the 16 boroughs and county regions throughout Busan Metropolitan City. The collected waste material is weighed using a self-weighing meter, which is then transferred and unloaded in the waste entrance zone using a wheel loader. The temporarily stored domestic waste material is transported to the collecting zone using a wheel crane. It is then crushed to sizes of under 200 millimeters and transferred to the mechanical pre-processing facility. In Trommel screen, which is a screen device, the waste is separated into that below 200 millimeters and that above 200 millimeters. The waste that is above 200 millimeters is transported back to the delivery site. The separated waste is classified into below 80 millimeters and 80 to 200 millimeters in size and the waste that is between 80 to 200 millimeters is transported to the pneumatic separator to be separated into heavy and light substances. The heavy substances undergo a vibration feeder transported to optical sorting machine. Here, the waste is divided into combustibles such as paper and plastic and in particular, a dedicated classification site is being operated for substances that increase the recovery rate of combustion, such as diapers, and the non-flammables, such as glass bottles, can, and aluminum, are classified and collected respectively. The light substances are finely pulverized into combustible pulverizer and transported to RDF storage tank. Waste below 80 millimeters are classified in magnetic sorter and non-metal sorter. The waste undergo flip-flop screen and are transported to the RDF storage tank through small size pneumatic sorter. The combustible substances classified as such are finely pulverized for easy combustion and are reborn into derived fuel, in other words, RDF. In particular, fluff RDF applied to this project is economically and environmentally valid when compared to the pelletized RDF which has gone through the drying formation process 
and is appropriate for producing electricity through high efficient generation. RDF storage tank is a facility with the purpose of stably supplying fixed quantity of RDF to Rone. RDF is transported to RDF storage tank through the belt conveyor for storage and then it is supplied to the boiler facility block. In addition, during the maintenance period of the boiler facility block, it is compressed, packaged and stored outside so that RDF can be produced continuously. The RDF in the storage tank is transported to boiler facility block through the supply conveyor. The facilities in the boiler facility block has been constructed by entering into contract for technical cooperation and exclusive supply with Andrich of Austria, which possesses the world's best technology in the field of waste-derived fuel for generation of electricity, so stable advanced technology has been applied locally. An outdoor circulation type of external flow layer boiler CFBC, which has been applied with special combustion technology suitable for waste-derived fuel, has been used and as for combustion, it is comprised of cyclone loop seal and fluid sand heat exchanger. The internal part of the boiler's combustion room has a high temperature of approximately 900 degrees Celsius of air pressure, leading to complete combustion. Such high-tech boiler facilities separates fluid sand, combustion materials, and combustion gas in cyclone for transportation. And as for the combustion gas, it is delivered to the electric heater of the boiler and the fluid sand and combustion materials undergoes combustion in cyclone. In the reprocessing facilities, the flooring materials and boiler materials that contain large amounts of fluid sand are processed for recycling or in the landfills in the vicinity. The boiler facility block and the combustion gas processing facility block, which are the core facilities of producing fuel and generation facilities, have been allocated in horizontal links considering the flow of the process. The combustion gas processing facility removes air pollutants such as dust, acidic gas, dioxin derived during the combustion process by using hybrid system so the emission is strictly controlled before discharge way below the legal standard. In turbine generation block, high temperature steam of air pressure of 60 ATM that is more than 400 degrees Celsius are produced and with the steam turbine 24.8 megawatts of electricity is generated per day. The entire quantity produced, other than the on-site power generation necessary, is sold in power exchange. The generated power annually is 196 gigawatts, and it generates revenue of 15.9 billion Korean won. Furthermore, by creating amenities and sports facilities around the site, efforts have been made to transform the image of waste plants being detestable facilities. During the planning and commissioning stages, efforts were made to create a comfortable rest area pleasant environment and an environment friendly area in a region filled with clean energy. All facilities in the MSW derived fuel are controlled in the central control room established with a system of cutting edge technology. In the central control room, the progress in each process can be managed and in case of problems, it allows prompt actions to be taken, making it optimal for operation. Busan e e with ample experience and advanced technology, is undertaking stringent management and is responsible for error-free operation for the safety of fuel and resource facilities, as well as for the successful implementation of the project. future depends on the new perspective on waste and how to create renewable energy and resources rather than how things are produced. MSW, which were treated with contempt, is taking a new turn. 
as useful resources and as being considered cleaner and healthier environment through the project that transforms MSW into resources. Now, the project of turning MSW into fuel will realize the positive value by considering it a contribution to the citizens of Busan as well as the Society for Mankind.